doodahs. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus! Is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Haunting face swims into your 
mind's eye, its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Excellent fertilizer.
this, mate. moving. Potent magic. I'll celebrate when Catherine's dead. We don't even know the way to Mora. Isabel, are you all right? 
I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Ketherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. No mercy, for Ketherick will have none on you. End this. with you, unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow-cursed harpers. Go on, then. It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the harpers, it fell here when they defeated Kerthric, the one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights, at any cost. I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Moon and shadow, light and dark, Divine sisters ever at war, and this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. A 
A search burdened by unnatural darkness. But don't let that discourage you. Then speak. The same way hoppers learn of anything. Poking noses where they don't belong. We sent an agent to infiltrate this cult. <laughs> the latest fad among the city's bored nobility, I thought. Until that same agent returned and tried to plant a knife in my neck. My first encounter with a true soul. I'm glad ours ended on friendlier terms. From there, I made some inquiries of my own. So firsthand how easily the cult could turn friend to foe with but the twist of a tadpole. And so I gathered my harpers and came to the source. Moonrise Towers. Ugh. Some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods, or laying with them, depending on the bard. There are as many versions of a tale as there are people to tell it. Let that satisfy you. In any way, the heroics of old have done seeming... We fight, we die. And we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. The songs would have you believe we saved the realms entire. Perhaps we did. They simply refused to stay saved. Right back at you. Be gone! What now? No! And pestering the crafts... I'm sure you would. murder us and now we have a traitor on the inside can't we trust anyone i know you've been there for us every step of the way it's just all a bit much sometimes you know uh, maybe we should ask someone else who no one cares no one mole would do the same for any of us you know it but how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. job to bring Mole back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you gotta understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. Hmm. <laughs> He keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. I don't deserve... You shall come through. Yes, we wait. If we're called, we join the fight against Catherine. And with the true soul, we will land the final blow.
and you shall find me. Watching me. 